Hey everybody, Goldie here, bringing you the latest contest information in WWE Champions. We are ending the February Fiesta month-long contest. We started with Ridge Holland as our freebie, Butch as our chase. So to put a bow on everything, we are getting Seamus, the brutal warrior flash feuds. Hey champions, we end this month with a big bang er. After banger, after banger, and brand new Seamus. Play Flash Feuds and get him through chests, shards, and a loot, along with fantastic rewards to earn. Please note, screenshots are taken from a test environment. Text numbers and dates are, say it with me now, subject to change all right we have a flash feud to end the february fiesta it starts march 3rd at noon pacific uh the event itself uh flash feuds there will be four of them as per usual starting march 3rd at 7 p.m pacific time ending march 5th at noon pacific available shards he is a four-star gold recruit overall you can get three quarters of him depending on where your faction ends up. And if you have all the bonus people for all the quote unquote free rewards, you can spin the loot. You can buy things off of the portal. If you have, I guess, rarer characters, premium characters, there's some more shards there. Um, so everyone is recruitable if you want to spend, but if you don't want to spend, you'll have to get lucky pulling him from a bag. Uh, more shards will be available in offers. Flash feuds. Play with selected superstars in flash feuds for brutal warrior faction points. Brutal warrior. And progress in the war score competition. Once again, if you have the manager's pass, a two times feud speed perk will be available to claim. Uh, there will be two free steps, one in the stamp card on the portal and one in the limited time tour. So two of the four this time are free. Um, our flash feud lines again subjects to change feud one which is already in game but i will go over it um starting march 3rd at 7 p.m pacific minimum four 2v2 30 minutes two props with a 100k first time win bonus that is universal throughout the four feuds uh, top row, obviously the new Seamus, the Brawling Brutes, and Open, plus 3 MP, 100% gem damage, and 50% war score. Middle row, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat at 5 star, that is the Acrobat, that one specifically. Um, any 6 star showboat and Open for 100% multiply gem damage, 50% reinforced gem damage, and 20% war score. Bottom row, Drew McIntyre, the Scottish Warrior, that is the Technician, any 5 star NWO, any Ruthless Aggression and open for two Snowfall Gems, 50% Mobile Gem damage, and 10% War Score Boost. Minimum four, three open spots and a Ruthless Aggression era. Hurricane is free. Uh, K-Quick is free. There are free Ruthless Aggression guys. So even newer accounts should be able to play. I've gone through newer accounts should be able to fill four spots on every feud. If not, that's a you problem. Uh, the second feud, Feud Eradicated. This is the female feud, which is why it's only four hours. Rolls eyes. Uh, starting March 4th at 8 a.m. Pacific. Again, minimum four, 2v2, 30 minutes, two props, 100k, first time wins. Your top lane bonus is Rhea Ripley, Judgment Day, and open. Again, plus three MP, 100% gem damage, 50% war score boost. I fangirled when I saw the middle lane, um, Molly Holly, pure and wholesome five star, any six star showboat, and an open spot for 200% multiply gem damage, plus two multiply gems, and 20% war score boost. Ladies and gentlemen, and those of you in between, I will see you feud two with my six star showboat Charlotte. Video incoming. Um, and bottom row, any Stacy. Even the tech doesn't need to be super Stacy. Um, any raw five star, any modern era, and open 100% botch gem damage. Might bust out Natty too now that I think of it. Uh, three countdown gems and 10% war score boost. So again, three open spots and a spot for modern era. You should be good to go with four. 
Uh, feud number three. Honor Among Dogs. What up, dog? Uh, March 4th at 6 p.m. Pacific start time. Uh, minimum four, 2v2, 30 minutes, two props, 100k first time. Uh, the top lane is a six-star Sami Zayn honorary ooze. My guess is because he was one of those characters where it's like you only need one token to take him six-star. Um, this is the benefit of doing it fast. You get to use him in the top lane. I mean, you can still take him up naturally, but he is the top lane with an other open spot. So three MP, 100% all gem damage, 50% war score boost. Uh, middle row, Montez Ford, the Street Profits. That's the acrobat, not the showboat. Um, any six-star trickster and open for 200% bleed, 100% health steal, and 20% war score. Bottom row, Roman Reigns, head of the table. That is the technician um, from Ireland. So I guess Seamus or Balor, you can't use Becky, even though she's the man. Um, I think those are the only two with the Irish link. Um, I might be wrong. Um, any PG era and open for 100% botch gem damage, plus three cross break gems, and 10% war score boost. That seems to be tailor made for King Seamus uh, twice. Again, three open spots and a PG era doable. And our final feud is Ruthless Judgment starting March 5th at 6 in the morning Pacific time. Minimum four, 2v2, 30 minutes, two props, 100k first time wins. Uh, your top lane is Finn Balor, the Judgment Day. This is the showboat that just came out. Um, and open your standard plus three. MP, 100% gem damage, and 50% war score boost. Middle row, Damien Priest, Archer of Infamy. That is the technician. Any six-star tech and open for 50% green gem damage, 50% cross break gem damage, and 20% war score boost. Bottom row, Big E, the power of positivity. Happy belated birthday, Big E Langston. Um, any Hall of Fame five-star, any Ruthless Aggression era and open. Uh, that's Powerhouse Biggie, by the way, as the nickname alludes to. For plus three countdown gems, 50% X-break gem damage, and 10% war score boost. Again, three open spots and any Ruthless Aggression. So the feud should be doable for everybody. Should be doable for everybody. Uh, leaderboard rewards, prize wall medallions, random medals, legendary straps, and coins. There will be um, uh, your He Brutal. That should be the Brutal prize wall medallions. For resources, ultimate pulp power straps, superstar shards, and token packs. All right, solo contest. Uh, complete the limited time tour. Climb up the war score competition leaderboard to earn points. Spin the loot to accelerate and earn Brutal Warrior chest, prize all medallions, and more. Top 50 can get the card outright on the leaderboard. Yes, I said card, not poster. Deal with it. Uh, free points every day on the portal. A million points for getting him in the first 24 hours. Um, your standard 6k for a loot coin times that by 10 for your first loot coin. Nearly 5 million points in the tours for a max milestone of 10 million. Regular rewards, this is like the, the freemium, the freebie ones. Uh, a whopping 4,500 solo points. 200 Evo tokens for Ridge. 5,000 keys. 250 prize wall coins. A premium chest. 10 shard bags. Um, just about 4k prize wall medallions. Some legendary modern era straps with high bonus chance, and then some random econ. Additional rewards if you want to spin the loot. There is 60 million more coin, 5,500 more TP, 100 butch shards, some more premium chests, some more shard chests, uh, 44,000 more medallions. Um, two legendary modern era straps with high bonus chance, five random ultimates. That's kind of nice. Um, and then a boatload of tokens. Top 200 leaderboard. Um, so the top 50, like I said, get the card outright up to 5-star gold, depending on where you finish. 4,000 shards to take them to 6-star. Three legendary straps with guaranteed bonus, some 6-star bronze token, and some coins for the top 200. Superstar competition. Win feud battles with selected superstars and reward yourself with nearly 3 million solo points, prize wall medallions, 6-star bronze tokens, and up to 10,000 A-tier focused showboat shards. Um, so feud one, win with any showboat, feud two, win with any modern era, feud three, win with any acrobat, 
feud four win with any ruthless aggression. I'm pleased to see that those are fairly open. I do not like that it went back down to 5k. Um, that is a bit of a hellacious grind, but it is what it is. Uh, contest superstars for feud one, the new showboat Seamus, um, Xavier Woods, King Woods. That is the showboat Ricky Steamboat, the dragon. That's the acro Drew McIntyre, the Scottish warrior. That is the technician feud two. Rhea Ripley, The Judgment Day, that's the trickster. Molly Holly, Pure and Wholesome. Any Stacey Keebler, so you can use Super Stacey, you can use Trickster, you can use Tech. Um, and Beth Phoenix, The Glamazon, Feud 3, The New Sami Zayn. Ricochet, The Future of Flight, that is the trickster. Montez Ford, The Street Profits, that is the acrobat. Roman Reigns, Head of the Table, that is the technician. And any Seamus, um, there's the powerhouse King Seamus, there's the trickster, botch Seamus, and now the new one. Uh, feud four contest superstars, Finn Balor, Judgment Day, The Showboat, Damian Priest, Archer of Infamy, The Technician, Big E, The Powerhouse of Positivity, The Powerhouse. This one's a bit interesting. Eddie Guerrero, Viva La Raza. Um, sleeper pick for maybe one of my favorite cards in the game. That's the trickster, the Ruthless Aggression one. Um, and any riddle, I'm your poppy. Oh, I get it because, my, okay, that makes sense. Anyways, rewards. Um, just about 3 million solo points, 41 million coin, 3,600 TP, 6 star bronze tokens, um, 10,000 Otis shards. If you don't have Otis, worth the recruit. Um, showboat marquee tour, Otis is king. So grind that out if you can. Uh, 20,000 Charlotte Flair shards. Woo! 20,000 Randy Orton, the Viper shards. Uh, two legendary modern straps, bunch of tokens. Uh, 1,600 prize all medallions, and they are throwing in the contest rewards from the Out of Oost Faction Boss competition. There was a tweet that went out, there was an announcement that went out, saying that they realized the last milestone was fairly out of reach. They would be putting the last milestone rewards in the next coming contest. This is the next contest. So an additional 30 million coin, a six-star bronze token, and an ultimate modern era power strap. Top 1,000 leaderboard rewards... 70,000, 70,000, 70 million coin, 30,000 Otis shards, 20,000 Charlotte shards, five six star bronze tokens. War score competition win in feud battles with six star superstars to speed up your progress. Um, up to 650,000 faction contests, 15,000 TP, some ultimate power straps, and there will be some Rhea Ripley Judgment Day shards available. Uh, if you finish top 800 in the leaderboard, you get a whopping half a mil for first place. It's a little upsetting, but whatever. Um, remember, the top 50 in solo can get the poster outright, so keep feuding, even if your fingers are hurting. Uh, one point per war score, 50k for a six-star bronze, max milestone of 40 mil as per usual. Uh, two modern era power straps, 650,000 faction points, um, 50 Rhea shards, 50 Seamus shards, uh, a premium chest, ultimate skill plate bag. Those are the defensive break color, reduce um, gem damage by 80% one, well, none of the fancy ones yet. Uh, tokens, 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 health packs, uh, 2,500 TP of each color. Again, I like that they're sticking with that instead of you opening everything and getting all red. Uh, one six-star bronze, and again, allocating more of the rewards from the Out of Oost contest, 100 Hall of Fame Sean shards, and an Out of Oost premium chest. Again, up to half a million points in the solo portion of the leaderboard. Faction contest, talent up, pretty standard. Talent up any superstar, any modern, three-star, four-star, five-star, evolve, enhance, or fuse, or star fill. Um, spend a six star bronze token, use a health pack, use a faction heal, and then, you know, war score will get you your faction stuff. Rewards 4.6 million coin, 5,200 strap parts, one shard chest, 80 Seamus shards, 3,000 prize all medallions, 100 butch shards, a whopping 1,695 solo points, um, 21,000 faction points, coins, tokens, econ, econ, uh, top 500 leaderboard. First place faction will get 500 shards, and it will go down accordingly as the rank lowers. Limited time tour, almost 5 million points available in here. Uh, Friday's challenge node, the Brawling Brutes. So normal is the Brawling Brutes, hard is any Seamus. Hell is Ireland, the contest superstar 
is Seamus himself, the new one. Uh, Friday's regular tour, The Brutal Warrior, any Seamus or Butch from The Brawling Brutes. Saturday, The Eradicators, either Judgment Day Rhea or Molly Holly Pure and Wholesome. Sunday, Ruthless Judgment, Finn Balor or Trickashay. Trick Ricochet, otherwise known as Trickashay. Uh, rewards, one of your feud steps. 15,000 faction points, um, a premium chest, basic chests, um, and 4.7 million solo points, and econ. Econ. Six-star bronze loot. The Brutal Warrior has come. Get a chance at brand new Seamus the Brawling Brutes at six-star bronze, along with other rare contest superstars to help you in the Flash feuds. As always, um... They're really pushing the portal for more bang for your buck. So check out the portal spend events. And then there will be a forum giveaway. Again, constructive criticism. No need to curse. It does get read. Trust me, it does get read. Um, that is the place to provide your feedback. Please do so for another chance at Seamus. But ladies and gentlemen, that is the final contest of the sixth anniversary in WWE Champions. Let me know what you think in the comments of this video. Let me know how you do in the feud. Let me know what you think of Sheamus. I'm sure I'll have some gameplay coming at some point this weekend. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching, and thank you for being a friend.